just experimenting. But enough about that. Yeah. We're going into losers' quarters. Yes, we got Bill Nye and uh, Zappa. Zappa versus Blue and Law. That's that. That sounds like a pretty good like show. You know, yeah, it could be Blue about like Law. the cops that help arrest guys and the lawyers that help put them away. That's the uh, <laughs> the the Law and Order NYPD Blue crossover. Yeah, the crossover. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. It's hour long special. You know, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. We're gonna get into the game. Pretty even so far. Town and City is an interesting choice. I mean, I know Sheik loves this stage. Charizard will certainly benefit from the smaller blast zone. Absolutely. Um, those, and I wonder when uh, Rest will start killing. It probably m could kill Sheik around now. This is the the, the smallest ceiling. Yes. So um, and it's tied with Lilac Cruz for the smallest sides. So it definitely everyone has to watch out right now. Absolutely. And, and especially it, with those platforms. Mm -hmm. And if there's one person that I'm looking at and saying, like, okay, you got to make sure you don't let him stick around for too long, it's it's got to be blue. Because when Charizard has a bunch of rage, you see that sweet spot back air does so much Just damage. Like that. yeah. And it, it can kill so early. And you got to... Oh, oh, no. No. Yep. That was brutal. Yep. You got to be a little careful. Oh, and he oh, just drops down. A, I okay, mean, nice he wasn't going to die at 0%, shit. so, I mean, I guess it was the risk reward was... Oh my oh. god. And you see what I'm telling you, Blue is just going off on them right now. Yeah. Law delivered uh, him a nice fresh Sonic off stage, steam to perfection, and Blue just stomped it into the ground. He's <laughs> and I, I can see what they're going for. You know, Jigglypuff has rest, and that's always a thing. Yeah. Uh, but. And I, I can see where, like, they Ooh, were, Oh, nice wow. down smash from Bill Nye, but Sheik, Sheik being stupid and doing Sheik things still makes it back from the bottom corner of the blast zone. Hashtag just, just, Sheik, just things. Sheik things. But anyways, good stuff from Law for recovering. Got to give him the props. Um, certainly no bias here. But Red Team is t starting to separate them. They have a two-stock yep. lead. And, um... Sonic and both Sonic and Bill Nye's percents are both creeping up really high. And that up wow. air, very high up into the blast zone. Very good decision to share stock. You gotta try to get something going. Absolutely. And, and, and the thing is, like right now, I don't think it's worth it for Bill Nye to even go for a rest unless there's somehow a way he's gonna kill both of them. Because mm -hmm. really, an attack from either Sheik or Charizard, no matter who he hits, is gonna like kill him at this percent. Yeah, definitely. Which is kind of unfortunate because that's like the thing that Jigglypuff is bringing to the table. So they're going to have to get creative if they're going to bring this back. They have yep. a... Wow. Oh, and so oh, that. that Flare Blitz is going to take him out. And now, now it's Sonic up to Zapper to try to make this comeback. Yikes. But it's not going to happen. Blue and Law. Very good um, detective Convincing. work right there. Yes. Escorting them to the Blast Zone. Uh-huh. And stomping out crime in uh, yeah. Animal Crossing Town and City. Yeah. Hey, you know what? There's, there's some dark and cruel nights out there in Town City. Okay. I, right. It's very important that I play my match now, so right. good commentating with you. Yeah, you too. Oh, that awkward. Yes. <laughs> First luck, time man. commentator problems. All right. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash clamhat or twitter.com slash dukehoppler, H-O-P-P-L-E-R. I have to go play matches, so I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Right. Good luck, man. All right, guys, so you're just stuck with me for a little while until we get another person in here. Uh, pretty good match. Uh, well, it could have been close for a blue team. And I'm not sure where they would want to go to kind of, like, try to get an advantage. Certainly, it seemed like they were just getting overwhelmed. They lost so many stocks so early, and it didn't seem like they were, like, necessarily getting, like, out, like, performed too badly towards the latter parts of the match. But by then, they were already so far behind that, you know, it was going to be really hard to make a comeback. So... I think if they can keep it close in the beginning, get it to a point where they can get some like cool rest kills and whatnot and help like keep the match close, they might have a chance to win. I mean, they certainly earned their place here by playing exceptionally well, and you never know. Anything can happen. This Smash 4 is certainly a game where a quick turnaround can happen game to game, so I'm looking forward to seeing this next match. And Matt, um, well, the next Wee Bear Bears won't be until September 2nd. Uh, I might be able to do that. We'll talk about that later. But we are going to go on into game two. Duck Hunt will be the counter pick. Certainly Charizard's best stage. But, oh, okay. This must not have, uh, not Charizard, Sonic's best stage. But regardless, it doesn't look like this was the stage choice as everyone's flying out left and right unless, unless there's some sick joke that I didn't know about if Bill Nye and, um, Bill Nye and Zapper just wanted out of this. You know, they were just like, all right, well, game one was terrible. You guys move on, whatever. But, uh, um, 
So, I wonder what stage they actually meant to choose. Because Duck Hunt isn't really near anything. Oh, it looks like we have a um, character switch. They might have chosen the stage too quickly. Yep, and I guess that's the case. Blue wanted to switch to Mewtwo. Although, I know Charizard benefits a lot from the Z-axis being taken on Duck Hunt with his F-Tilt and back air. So, I'm a little uh, curious as to why Blue felt the need to switch. But, I guess if he's more comfortable going Mewtwo against his team, I mean, all the power to him. So gonna get right into it blue just camping on the corner a very nice um crouch by bill nye avoiding the grab but uh zapper's got to make sure he gets on stage and law's doing a pretty good job of making it um two one-on-ones and if you're confident that um in your one-on-one -on -one abilities there's no need not to i guess and very aggressive edge guard from bill nye uh getting the stage spike as blue didn't tech but because of duck hunt being the horizontal stage it's not going to send him anywhere so Law actually yet to be hit over 30 seconds into the game. Um, but Blue certainly keeping out in the percent. Ooh, gotta be careful going out there for the edge guard. And Blue, I I didn't even see what happened. I was focused on Law trying to get hit. Um, and Blue lost his first stock, I guess, not being able to recover. And ooh, and here we go. Stocks flying out left and right yet again. And Bill Nye tacking up the damage, but he's going to need some more help from Zapper if they're going to make this comeback. He tries to get in there with the pound to break that up, but um, Blue timing his uh, throw very well to get that grab armor. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I mean, like, Charizard has, like, the super sweet spot. I mean, Mewtwo obviously benefits from it, but he also, he, he also benefits from having the sour spot. So, I don't know. It's just a... I mean, what, like I said, all the power to Blue for choosing whatever character he wants. He certainly knows what he's doing better than I do. So, oh, and the dog assisting that kill. Come, <laughs> like, hey, man, uh, I know you're trying to get the loser semis. I just want to help you get this up smash kill. Very nice stuff for Blue. I mean, that up smash, I'm pretty sure it would have killed regardless with Jigglypuff, but any help is welcome. And stocks. Flying out left and right from this blue team. They are at a 5-2 to two stock deficit. And they've got to make something happen soon They, um, if they're going to get back into this. They certainly want to see this game to go to a game 3. And the forward air from blue. A little bit of friendly fire. Blue charging his down smash the wrong way. Very nice aggressive edge guard by Bill Nye. Not able to finish it off as blue recovers. But a, a good attempt nonetheless. Yo. Yeah. My yeah. My, uh, my homie, yeah, okay, is gonna hop on the commentary with me. We are in game two of Losers Quarterfinals. Bill Nine, Zapper versus Blue and Law. Yo, what's up, team partner? Where you been at? I didn't even know you were coming to Wee Bear Bears today. I didn't see you walk in. Yo, yeah, Bill. yeah, man. I had something to, for school to do at six, and then by the time I got here, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to play. I could dig it. So I didn't make a big deal about it. And I gotta say, Bill Nye and Zapper have been taking some names. Yeah, I know. Time, I was bro. I was telling the people, man. They they worked really hard to get here. You want to see this end a little closer? Actually, doing a pretty good job bringing this back. They were at a two stock to five stock deficit. And now it's closing in. Oh, that would have been an easy, yeah. free four smash. Right? I gotta say, Bill Nye's edge guarding is. Pretty good. He hasn't been able to like really clean up stock super early, but he puts the pressure on when yeah, you're off stage. Yeah. You gotta admire that. One thing I will say about Bill. Oh, uh, drop and, uh, and shield. Zapper. Unfortunate death to the shadow ball and uh, blue doing a pretty good job of pressuring him. Yo, Bill Nye just honestly just one of those little gems, those little diamonds in the rough there. Oh yeah. wow, Sheik actually stuffing that attempt for a shield. Oh, Let's and go. the back air is gonna take out Sheik. So can Bill Nye do it? He just has to pretty much get uh get Mewtwo out of here. I don't know. Wow, did you see that jumping? Yeah. Did you see that? I mean, that a back air, like, towards, like, the end of the stage will pro- Oh, that's, oh that's, man, that's unfortunate. That was game two? That was game oh, two. Oh, was that 2-0? Yep. Oh? Man, yep. that looked intense. It was at the end. They brought that back. I mean, Bill Nye, he was one back air away from taking out Blue, and then who knows what would have happened to Law, so. But Shout out the homie real quick, though. What up, SSB Matt? Yeah. See you up there. Mm -hmm. Getting your, uh... Your sub on. Get your subs on. It's like, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> Yo, man, for real, that that was that was lit though. I didn't yeah. think that. Um, I know Jigs. Like, we don't really get a chance to see Jigglypuff frequently in tournaments. Yeah, you know what I mean. Definitely, Especially definitely. this high up. I know Easy likes to use them and mess around with them. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, guys, I'm really feeling Jigs this week. Yeah. Like, nah, but uh, yeah. shout out to Easy by the way. But um, nah, I really saw him. He was playing. Um, I think they beat. They a beat va a Vash and Bonk. And then and Delibird and Blazikus to get there. Strong players that we have here that may not be on the PR, but Bracket Monsters. Yeah, I mean, especially, I mean, um, Blazikus and... 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Bonk's on PR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> honestly, he came back from not playing for two months and didn't know he was on PR. Are you telling me that? Like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, Delbert and Blazik is certainly great teams. They've teamed together plenty of times, so yeah, you know sure. they they to beat them and Bonk and Bonk and Bash. I mean, yeah, that's good stuff like, getting here. Fifth place finish, certainly nothing to fret about at all. And uh, gonna get this your ninja work next time I see you all, man. If you don't get out of here before I curveball pokeball you out of here, Matt. <laughs> Boy, bang, gotcha. That's what's gonna happen. Except it's gonna be with a Mega Buster. Oh, so it looks like we are gonna have oh, a singles Gio, match. That sucks They're gonna do a couple of these doubles matches off stream, I guess, to try to progress the the bracket. Now right. that we're getting towards the end, those last couple of doubles matches take a long time. So no joke, it's man. worth it to just advance this bracket for a little bit. Yeah, it makes sense to do. And the other thing is, is with so many players in uh, here for for singles and not uh, so much for. Um, dubs mm -hmm. you have a lot of dubs matches just kind of like holding up the singles bracket or yeah vice versa. especially um if, towards those last few like those losers finals grand yep. finals especially if it goes to two sets like those those players that make it that far a lot of the time they're holding up the bracket because even though they're like on their first match right. that first match sets off like a chain reaction of all the matches that guy they send the losers yeah. now all those losers bracket matches can right happen. right and you know like it, it it's important to try to like make sure you mix those in to like mm -hmm. have to help the bracket move along so people don't get out of here at uh, like 1 a.m. Tournament maintenance, man, because we're I mean as much as we love Smash, we also love our families and we would like to get home to the <laughs> reasonable time. Yeah, but but sure, we're gonna go yeah. ahead and push. I know this my along. fridge is gonna miss me, my my yeah. sofa. Yeah, your sofa. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, your roommate listening. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Party at Guns, I'll smash it. I'm oh yeah, you got. I'm a working on it soon. Uh, yeah, well, I don't have a Wii U. Buy you one. Yeah, Blazik is yeah, Blazik is the homie. Shout yeah, out to Blazik is buying me on Wii U. Um, but uh, got a couple more weeks in the term, then I'll be able to focus more um, on Smash and on.